to drive around and listen to various forms of music. I do like XM radio. There's some blues. Alan Wolf. Feel like this, some folk. Feel like that, but the way I feel, I don't you call me. BB King. The greatest blues man that ever lived. And that's who Mr. King was. And it reminds me of um, being 16 or 17 years old and seeing Mr. King in a record store in New Jersey and walking in and asking for an autograph and saying, excuse me, Mr. King, I'm trying to learn how to play the guitar and I love the blues. And he said, well, hey man, come here, sit down. And he talked to me for over an hour. He told me all about being on the road. He told me what to expect. He told me things like, he said, if, if you want to go into music with the thought of getting rich, don't play the blues. You play the blues because you have to. The blues chooses you. You don't choose it. It grabs you and it doesn't let go. Whenever I was not on tour, this is where I was. It was, uh, a lot of people came in there and played with me. Garth Hudson from the band, Mick Taylor from the Stones, T.M. Stevens, Tina Marie from Motown Records, um, John Mayall came in there and played. Um, all sorts of people would come down here and jam. For a while I had Richie Hayward from Little Feet on the drums playing here with me. I did over 3,000 sets of music in this little place. Started there in 1975 and played there for over 20 years. The blues is really my roots. It's really my, my pedigree with all the people I played with. And um, just to do a Stone Blues album, finally, but to um, look for songs that, that are sort of not the blues greatest hits, you know? Um, songs that have not really been covered much, but I think songs that are, are worthy of attention and worthy of being heard again. So it, it's been a while. It's, it's kind of been in the back of my mind. And it just seemed like after my last album, which was We're All In This Together, which was a lot of jamming on, on blues stuff with all these great musicians, it, it just seemed like the right time now. Baby, I get you on my mind. I think there's a lot of really awesome blues songs that have not really been heard that deserve to be heard. For instance, the, um, the first track on the album is called Me, My Guitar, and the Blues. It was written and performed by an old um, Chicago blues man from the 60s and 70s. His name was Jimmy Dawkins. And to me, it's an amazingly iconic, uh, incredible blues tune. And why it hasn't been heard or covered by more people, I don't know. But when I heard it, it floored me. And um, there's plenty of songs like that that have kind of just fallen by the wayside. There's 55 versions of Got My Mojo working out there, and we don't need another one, you know? Oh boy, some good stuff here. Look at this. Is that Mayall? This is John Mayall. This is his album Memories, and it's very, very intense. He has written all songs about problems he was going through in his life at the time. And um, as you can see, there's a picture of him as a kid with his father, picture of him as a young man, a picture of him in the army. He was in the Korean War. Yeah, this is the album where he talks about it, right? I remember you, you yeah. telling me about him writing a song about it. Yeah, and um, this album is really heavy. Lyrically, it's... He didn't hold back. He really, um, it's almost gut-wrenching to listen to. Yeah. It's one of your mom's favorite albums of his. Now this town, back in 1975, this town was very different. None of this was here 
It was all little two-story brick buildings, kind of like perks. It was very much like a Wild West town. There's one of the original remaining buildings there, the brick building. And um, I remember when I first moved here, I was told, don't walk around Huntington Beach at night. It's very dangerous. This place was all bikers and Marines and drug addicts and it had a it had danger to it and it was actually a lot of fun my wife marie um she was talking about how you know i'm a liver transplant recipient and two of the guys in the band are heavily in recovery from drug addiction and alcoholism and one the other guy on the record has had a triple bypass and she said, God, you guys are all survivors. She said, you need to call this thing Survivor Blues. And I thought it was a great idea. So we have to give credit to that to my wife, my manager, the amazing Dr. Marie Trout. This album really is about the certain stage of the career I'm at. This is my 28th album. Um, my last album was We're All In This Together, where I had all these special guests, you know, Warren Haynes and Robin Ford and Joe Bonamassa and Charlie Musselwhite and all these people. And we basically jammed. And um, this album, I, I want to continue doing blues stuff, but I, I wanted to do something different. I, I wanted to call attention to these, these great songs. When you tell me you love me, why? I did a lot of research, I did a lot of listening, and at one point I had about 50 songs chosen, and then I had to kind of narrow it down to, I think there's 12 on the record. And um, some of them I picked strictly for the lyrics. I thought the lyrics were incredible. Um, Red Sun by Floyd Lee. Um, Nobody's heard that song. I mean, really, it hasn't been covered. And, and the lyrics um, are like Leonard Cohen or something. They're incredible, you know? And it really spoke to me. Um, there were certain tunes that I, I thought were great tunes, but as I researched them, I give you an example. Willie Dixon has a song called It Don't Make Sense If You Can't Make Peace. And he's got a couple verses in there about transplants you give one man you take one man's eyes you give another man's sight you take one man's heart you give another man life and here i am on my second liver those lyrics spoke to me i i lived it but then i looked into it it was covered by robin ford it was even covered by sticks so that song no it, it's already been done you know and that's that's not the concept of this record The songs will survive, I hope, and my hope is that people who buy this record and hear these songs will go back and do the research and listen to the originals by the original people. You know, I, I did a song by Mississippi Fred McDowell. I, I did it with Robbie Krieger from The Doors. He played guitar on there, and uh, my hope is that um, somebody will go back and listen to the original.